installing a 256 gig M.2 SSD into this NetGate SG3100 PFSense box. This upgrade will cause PFSense to run much smoother and be able to hold log files much longer. Um, the box comes with an 8 gig flash uh, memory built in and it's just really slow. So as you can see, we're removing the four Torx T10 screws on the bottom of the case and then we're going to set the top case to the side. Um, we'll go ahead and grab our SSD and as a reminder this is not an NVMe SSD. Um, the SG3100 cannot handle NVMe um, per NetGate's manual um, and it was hard for me to find this specific uh, M.2 as a non-NVMe SSD so I'll leave a link in the description um, for you to find it on Amazon. Um, I there is, I do get a little commission for it, um, so, so that you're aware. But we're, um, to install this SSD, make sure that the crucial logo is facing up, and then we're going to put it into the 80 millimeter standoff and screw it back down. This is a Phillips head screw, um, and, and that will hold the M.2 in place. Um, and that's basically it. So... To finish it out, we're going to make sure we align those three plastic pieces on the front of the device with their place on the top case. Um, and it does take a little finagling. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll screw down the T10 screws. Um, in the next video, I'll go over how to install PFSense on the M.2 drive um, and then get PFSense set up. Um, you will have to reinstall PFSense with this upgrade. So like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It really helps. Thanks.